Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. Yeah? But do you think PTSD happens to only soldiers alone? No. PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder, which means the disorder you have after any kind of trauma. Post-traumatic stress disorder. So let's say an arm robber came to your house, they pointed the gun at you, they told you they were gonna kill you. You guys were scared, you begged for your life, you finally survived. If at some point you replay that event in your head and for some reasons you get scared or in the night you cannot sleep, you are having post-traumatic stress disorder. If seniors in your secondary school or in your high school keep beating you or every day they come out and they deal with you guys at night for no reason, you're back home from school, at night you can't sleep. You are having post-traumatic stress disorder. If at home your parents beat you so much that they injure you and then the only place you find comfort is in school, every time you're about to go home, you are suddenly scared. You are having post-traumatic stress disorder. Any form of trauma that has led you to have anxiety is causing you post-traumatic stress disorder. So PTSD is not just for soldiers, it's for anyone who has gone through any traumatic situation. You might think not a lot of people have this condition, but let me tell you, in our everyday life, there are things people go through that you do not realize send them into this situation, this kind of anxiety. You see people committing suicide, you don't know what they have gone through. PTSD can happen to anyone who has had any form of road accident and the person is still scared of it till today each time they think about it. People who have undergone any serious health problems that are threatening to them of course. In fact, some people, even childbirth experiences can lead them to have PTSD. Any sort of assault, robbery, kidnapping, any of those things can cause you to have PTSD. The best way is not to insult the person. Oh, you're a mumu, you're this and that. How can you be scared of this? No, it is psychological. It is a medical issue. Get them to see a therapist. You don't have to be judgmental. You don't have to feel that they are, they are weak or something. It is not their fault. So you have to get them to see a therapist. PTSD is very, very, very common. I'm not saying you should not spank your kid. You can spank your child. But be cautious about it. You don't do it out of anger. The next thing, he just didn't wash plate. Probably you're just going to spank him. The next thing you beat him. And when we see him, you will think that he killed someone. Injured back everywhere. Injured hands. Look, some, there are some things we do. We think, ah, oh, it's right. I'm disciplining him. There's a difference between discipline and torture. When you see discipline, you know it's discipline. You don't go around taking iron. Taking iron and you hit someone. Or, or you... You take some very dangerous stuff and in the name of discipline it doesn't work children undergo post-traumatic stress disorder the funny thing is that people do not realize that you will see adults who have grown up married have kids but they don't forget experiences they had as children trust me and it is not funny and you see these little things we think that do not affect our lives they do affect our lives they affect certain areas of our lives for you you might not know it you might not see it you just feel oh, i turn out well i turn out fine there are decisions you have taken that you don't know are as a result of those things that have happened to you you might deny it you might argue it but that's facts so i think we need to be careful with a lot of things we need to know how to spot some things and deal with them accordingly i'll see you next time in my next video.